the fur industry was going to end her life. But instead, we're ending the industry. The California Senate just voted to ban fur statewide, which will save millions of animals from being skinned for their fur. In fur farms throughout the state, wild animals inside of cages are literally going insane. Rabbits in fur farms have been documented obsessively plucking out their own fur. And foxes caught in traps in the wild will commonly chew off their own limbs to escape. Anti-fur activists have been fighting this cruelty for decades, but nothing was changing. Now, we're achieving victories at a blazing pace. And in the past two years, Michael Kors, Prada, Gucci, and other major fashion labels have dropped fur. Entire fashion weeks have gone fur free, garnering international media attention. San Francisco, Los Angeles, and now the entire state of California are banning fur. In response, the industry is growing desperate to change public perception. They've launched a new program called Fur Mark, which will verify humane animal fur so that consumers don't have to worry about animal cruelty. Uh, animal cruelty is still standard under this so-called Fur Mark. They continue to anally and vaginally electrocute animals. Well, Californians aren't falling for it. We know that there is no humane way to kill someone for their skin. And our legislators agree. I think that that is not humane for any animal to be kept its entire life in a small cage, especially when their nature is to be wild. The fur industry can see that people are waking up to the truth and that these citywide bans are leading to a fur-free California. So they've started telling even bigger lies. The fur industry is actually paying people to speak against the fur ban and deceive legislators into thinking that the public opposes the bill. But activists uncovered the truth and sent the contract to the media to expose this corruption to the entire world. Now fur lobbyists are throwing out every argument in the book. Uh, it's odd that we can very thoughtfully regulate the cannabis industry, but somehow we can't regulate the fur industry. It's baffling. But the California Senate isn't buying it. When it comes to cannabis, no one dies when you harvest a cannabis plant. Sometimes the arguments got way off track. I mean, every, every year I, I harvest a rice crop. I kill a plant in order to provide that rice that feeds people throughout the world. If we're going to argue that, hey, you shouldn't kill a living thing, you know, plants are, are also living. But activists were there to bring the animals' perspective. I support this bill because animals feel pain, plants do not. One by one, the arguments of this outdated and cruel industry are getting knocked down, and the world is recognizing that killing someone for their skin isn't fashion. It's a crime. When we rescued Mabel, we could only save one life. But now, we're saving them all. There's one last step before the fur ban becomes law. The governor of California has to sign the bill, and we need your help to make sure that he does. Take action at furishistory.org. And please share this video.